Hello everybody, I am Sammy15 the Dragon Team here today. And today I have a little tutorial to speak. Uh for those of you guys who do not know, uh within the last month or so they they've been doing starting doing versus rewards for every, every time you do what if you like every time you win you get more points and stuff like that. And for those of you guys who also do not know, uh there's Pokemon TCG online online rankings. Yes, there's Pokemon TCG online rankings for once. Pretty cool, I think. And uh, I'm also going to show you how do you get to this site, because a lot of my friends don't even know how to get to this site. I actually found this on accident personally, to be perfectly honest, almost to be. But, yeah, uh, there's Pokemon TCG online versus rewards and all that stuff. So we're first going to talk about the versus rewards themselves. Uh, 10 does seem a little lot, but every time you win, you get 10 points. And if your opponent had the advantage at the beginning of the, at the start of the game, uh, your opponent Hey, well, you get an extra five points. You don't get any points for losing, though, so it's basically win or bust. So, and yes, for those who are curious, if you, it does not matter how you win, you still get the points. It also does, even if your opponent can see within the first minute of the game where your opponent timed out, it still counts. And for those who are wondering if the tournaments counts, no, they have their own separate thing. I'll talk about that later. So, for those who are wanting more information, here's more information and versus ladder. Uh, in the overview and the versus points and all that stuff, you can read this here or I'll put my on at your own leisure. Now I'm going to show you how to get into uh, Pokemon TCG online rankings and all that stuff. So first you log in and then go to my Pokemon page where I'm at right now and uh, click you click player information and then you click search rankings then you click Pokemon TCG Online Leaderboards. I'm going to click Overall for right now. And just like that, you're at the Pokemon TCG Online Leaderboards. So, pretty sweet. I'm, as you see, I'm the top 2% and overall I have 1065. So yes, even if you're completed over here and complete your ladder, you still, <coughs> you still obtain uh, versus points. And like I said, 10 points for every victory and an extra five points if your opponent had the advantage at the start of the game. So, yeah. Um, this is how you get to it. Then you can also use the global rankings and like you can search by US and Canada. You can also search by this season with this week. And you can also do standard format or not. Or you can pick expanded, unlimited, or whatever fits your fancy. You can also just do tournament rep instead. <clears throat> I haven't been doing any tournaments of week, so I'm probably not going to even show up. <clears throat> Man, my throat is dry. This season. If you collect well, last season, it won't work because like there wasn't any points to take in to begin with last season. So yeah, that's kind of how it works. For those who are wondering how do you even get to the page, I just showed you how to get to it. If you don't have Pokemon TCG Online, not Pokemon TCG Online account, but Pokemon TCG uh, Pokemon.com account, then I think you should make one so you could look at this. <clears throat> because otherwise I'm not sure how you get to this page exactly. <clears throat> uh, sorry, you can also see everyone else in the rankings. You can also do 25, 50, 100. And uh, do this week. Hey, I didn't do any. I'm gonna do versus points. So I want a little show off my my standing right now. And hundred. Yeah, I have an eight hundred and eighty this week. Not bad, not bad, even if I do say so myself. Oh, not at the bottom. I think it was like at like the bottom of the first page last yeah, actually last night, but um I really haven't been winning too much. So, last, so I think I'm like, right, yeah, I'm right, right here, yep, 118 right, right now. And of course, it sets, resets every week. And for those who wonder what happens at the end of the season, what, what will the people who have done well get? What do they get? I am actually not 100% certain. I do not know. I I can't tell you. Um, I don't know for certain, I, so, I can't, so I won't say. Oh, there's delay it. Error. Sorry about that, but yeah. So I think this is this concept is cool. I think the whole entire ladder reward system is really cool. But I'm gonna do a little review here right now. While I have the time, 
And while this is really good in theory, I think it has a little a few tw tweaks that need to be done. Like for instance, I'm gonna show you to the guy who's uh, the top page. And I'm gonna also do this season. By the way, the season as of right now has only been two weeks, I believe, two or three weeks. So look at this guy. K whatever his name is, not gonna even try pronouncing. He has like eight thousand three hundred and twenty five. Which basically means he's been potentially been playing for maybe ten hours each and every day and doing that's assuming he wins most of the time for the last two weeks or and maybe even more. I just I'm just saying, you know, to be sometimes at the near the top of the leaderboard you have to like almost have to have no life. <laughs> that's that's my idea. And it's not due by win percentage, it's just straight up by wins. So you can get a, like a, like I said, if you face like an opponent who doesn't show up to your match or something along along those lines, or your opponent concedes like five minutes in or something like that, or you get a dunk victory, it all counts the same in the end, and you still get the points. And um, I'm not 100 percent certain I like that, you know, because on a, another thing, I as someone who has been a uh, yeah, as someone who has been um, playing a lot online, it seems half the time, even though I'm winning most of the time, I'm still facing against people who uh, are, don't really have competitive decks, to be on, to be uh, blunt, who don't really have, uh, or may not have enough experience, who don't necessarily know what they're doing, or are just playing for fun. And I feel like there still needs to be a separate section for those people, for those people who are newer players or those who have uh, less experience or something like that, there may be, I think there should be like their own separate section. Even though people who are newer players who, who don't play competitively will probably still play in the competitive section anyway because honestly that's where a lot of people are going to be, I think, I feel. So that's just how I feel and um, I also feel, I really do like the whole entire idea, I just need things that need to be a little tweaks here and there. Also with the versus the rewards, I feel like I understand they're also trying to, com to, uh, to, I don't know, help a little bit with the newer players a little bit. But I feel like if you want to do that, maybe you should give them more good supporters, more good items, stuff like that, um, or better items. Pro Sorry about my improper grammar about that. That, but yeah, um, I just feel maybe I don't know. This should give more c competitive ex. It's like seriously, when's the last time? being a sort of that has been like done top to anything, seriously. I mean, sure it has, but like, uh, let's be honest here, it's not as often as Evol Evoltal did. <laughs> I just want like better, you know, better stuff. I mean, I don't mind too much, because I have pretty much everything I, I need, but, you know. The packs are nice though, the coins are nice, I guess. I And, you know, full Pokemon Fan Club is kind of good. So, that's just my opinion. Those are just my opinions, though. I do like the whole entire versus board system. I just think it just needs a little bit more polish. That's that's just my opinion, like I said. Um, yeah. Like they, yeah. So you can, for a quick overview, if for anyone who who is uh, interested, you log in, go to my Pokemon page, go to the search rankings. Click Pokemon TCG on leaderboards, and then click your thing of choice. That's the basics, anyway. So yeah, that those are just my opinions, though. I'm Sammy the Dragon Team here. For those of you who do not uh, know how to get to this page in the first place, or do not know anything about this, or have, been, or have not been playing Pokemon TCG online as of late, I hope this was informative, and I apologize if I mumbled or stumbled a little bit over my words too much. I apologize for that. But, yeah, I'm Sam15, the Dragon Tamer here. I hope you guys liked today's video. Please like, subscribe for further content. And I'll see you guys next time.